You checked his kick right here, and bam. Maybe I won't be able to do this again. For sure, that was in my in my thoughts. Leg breaks don't happen often, but unfortunately, they can strike in the sport we love. I can't continue this. I, I, I can't. It's too much pain. They are brutal and require extensive rehabilitation to recover from them. Why did that happen to me? I mean, there's three leg breaks in the history of the UFC, and I'm a part of two of them. And in this video, we'll dissect the devastating leg injuries that occurred to fighters in the UFC and what happened to them after recovery. Surprise, surprise! The king is back! Corey Hill vs Dale Hart Corey Hill, a contender from The Ultimate Fighter Season 5, had his dreams shattered in the competition from eventual winner Nate Diaz. However, he still managed to secure a contract. In his debut, he managed to beat Joe Verez with a second round TKO, but lost in his second bout via submission against Justin Buchholz. In his third and final fight in the octagon, it was against Dale Hart in 2008. At the start of the second round, Corey Hill threw a leg kick, but Hart managed to check it, resulting in a collision which shattered Corey Hill's shin. However, the referee didn't see it at first and the action continued with the commentary team in shock and Joe Rogan shouting from the sidelines to stop the fight. His legs broken! Stop, 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 stop the fight! Stop the fight! Stop the fight! Stop, 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 stop the fight! Over Corey Hill has suffered a broken leg. It was eventually stopped and this was the first injury of its kind in the UFC. Corey Hill was sent straight to the hospital with the doctors telling him it would take 12 to 18 months for recovery and he would never be able to fight professionally again. However, he did manage to recover despite the doctor's concerns but didn't return to the UFC. He fought for another promotion and continued his career from there. Like Dana White said in the hospital, you achieve world status, people are gonna recognize you but not the way you want it. He sadly passed away at 36 years of age due to pneumonia. Anderson Silva vs Chris Weidman Silva was on a tear in the division, destroying everyone in his path in unbelievable fashion. He would often keep his defense low and antagonize his opponent to attack, then hit back with a counter. He looked unstoppable until he tried the same tactic against the up-and-comer at the time, Chris Weidman in 2013. Weidman had only 5 UFC fights to his name, which he won all of them and received a title shot against Silva in July 2013. During the fight, Silva was up to his usual tricks, evading and countering. However, this time he got caught by the relatively inexperienced Weidman. This brought on one of the greatest surprises in UFC history. Weidman became the new middleweight champion. After nearly six months of waiting, fight fans finally got to see the rematch between the new UFC middleweight champion and longtime divisional kingpin Anderson Silva at UFC 168. Weidman had the upper hand in the first round, knocking Silva down again. But this time he survives the round. Then in the second, no one in their right mind could have possibly known that the ending to this title fight was going to be even more unbelievable than the first encounter. Silva went for a leg kick, but Weidman managed to check it, and Silva shattered his shin on impact, collapsing to the mat in pain. Oh, oh, nice. he checked oh it. no! He hurt himself! He hurt his leg! Much like Corey Hill years ago, Joe. Not just an odd ending, Mike, but that might be the ending of Anderson Silva's career. Following the event, Silva was taken to a local Las Vegas hospital. The force of the impact snapped Silva's left leg seemingly in half, breaking both the tibia and fibula where he underwent surgery to repair the broken leg. And it required the surgical implantation of a titanium rod to repair it which was successful. After the horrific injury, Silva stayed away from the sport for a year to recover. I remember it at night, I, I feel in a lot of pain and then just talk to my wife, say, oh my gosh, I, I can't continue this. I, I, I can't, it, it's too much pain. His next fight was against Diaz in 2015, but he didn't look like the same fighter we once knew. Chris Weidman vs Uriah Hall. Next, we have a case of karma, where Chris Weidman faced off against Uriah Hall eight years after the devastating leg break of Anderson Silva due to the check. Weidman had been pretty active after the silver fight, racking up four wins and five losses until 2021. His next fight was against Uriah Primetime Hall. Just as the round starts, Weidman goes for a leg kick, but Uriah lifts his leg and checks it. Weidman went to plant his foot and realized his shin had shattered upon impact. He fell to the canvas in excruciating pain, putting an immediate end to the bout.
another horrific scene and this was the exact same way it happened to Silva. The fight was immediately called off and he had to be stretched out of the octagon. I just remember looking at his eyes and I was like, oh, I know that hurt. You're not taking any more of those. And then of course I put my leg down and uh, my leg wasn't there anymore. And taken to hospital. And if you throw in the odds of the person who's broke someone's leg in there, which doesn't happen very often, and then him now also breaking his leg. I mean, you better off getting struck by lightning. 37 year old had surgery the next day, but had further complications with his recovery and had to go under the knife again. Why did that happen to me? I mean, there's three light breaks in the history of the UFC and I'm a part of two of them. Mm. Something good has to come out of this because otherwise I just don't understand why this is happening to me. He was out for two years when compared to every other surgery I, I, I had. This was a serious, traumatic thing that happened to my leg. The, the recovery is going to be way longer and, and harder than I've ever experienced. And his next fight was at UFC 292 in August 2023. He ended up losing the bout and took a barrage of devastating leg kicks in the process. Tavares then helped him backstage once the fight was over as he was unable to walk properly. I don't think he will ever be the same again. Conor McGregor vs Dustin Poirier For someone so slick on the feet and calculated in his approach, this was a shocker. Conor McGregor fought Dustin Poirier in the trilogy fight. In 2014, he dominated the first fight and knocked out Poirier. The second in 2021, Poirier got his revenge with a KO of McGregor. So this would be the decision maker. But it didn't end up how any of us expected. Things went badly wrong for McGregor at the end of round one, where he went for a leg kick and then stepped back and appeared to snap his ankle. He dropped to the canvas and the fight was abruptly stopped. Oh, he missed. They both oh, missed. He, he oh, fell back on his own ankle. Yeah, they both missed, right? Oh my goodness. Poirier was a winner due to injury, but McGregor wasn't having any of it. And McGregor in typical fashion then unleashed some foul mouth shit talking whilst on the floor. This is not over. If we had to take this young soy for him, it's on. Your wife is in me DMs. Hey, baby, hit me back on my channel later on. We'll be at the party to win my club, baby. You're looking bitch, you little during a backstage interview, he thought that this would end his career. At the time, I thought, you know, maybe I won't do, maybe I won't be able to do this again. For sure, that was in my in my thoughts. One of the Look most. Look at that! Look at it's, it's, he actually broke his leg. But McGregor is now fully recovered and prepared to make his comeback. Mystic Mac is to face Michael Chandler in the following months. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this one, check out our video on the reasons why fighters leave the UFC in the link above. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.